me to be here folks i'm usually on 6 to 9 p.m but what's up it's renzo and in the booth my goodness i was not expecting this but they decided to drop by thank you very much of course the boys of five seconds of summer are here thank you hey. on. michael luke ashton callum welcome to uh, the 99.5 play fm welcome back to manila how are hey, you guys feeling good you very got a good. great stage voice oh, oh yeah good. thanks hey, man. that's the station of the new generation is yeah. fantastic yeah i know it, ro it rolls off the tongue very it good. rhymes very good which is really the only thing that matters as long as it rhymes it makes sense right <laughs> so uh this is your Hopefully third so. time in manila now and mm -hmm. uh before we get started i want to say belated happy birthday ashton thank you uh i know it was just uh, yesterday was it two days ago yeah man two, two days ago time zones are weird man but I then know. yeah uh how was it celebrating your birthday just, you know, in, in transit in between countries? I know you have to do that a lot, but how was, was it this time around? It was awesome, man. I was at, I was at home, actually, uh, back in Australia. Okay. So I had no, no problems at all with my birthday. It was awesome. I had nice. my friends, my family, um, and I wasn't, yeah, nice. jet lagged or anything. So great. you guys just got here last night from Australia? Yeah, we flew up here. Sweet. Okay, you got to spend time with family and uh, hang out a bit. But uh, the exclusive show that's happening here in Manila this week, it's called Just Woke Up in Manila. And, you know, considering that, how was your morning in Manila? Your first morning, Ooh. just this morning. What did you guys do? What were you up to? It's been... Good. It yeah. <laughs> We talk about, like, when we dive into promo, like, we talk about what we're actually doing. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's nice that we're talking to someone like you because we yeah. got in here and you're wearing a band T-shirt. Yeah, you're wearing a Mayday Parade, Parade shirt. Let's go. And, um, I just think we hone in on how grateful we are to actually be precise about, you know, we're here to talk about our new songs mm -hmm. and our new direction and the way we are as a band today. Right. Um, and I can tell that you're going to ask us some of those questions, which yeah, is great. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, Ashton, you said particularly that the sound of the band has changed because, you know, and I quote, you all agreed to continue pursuing something that was fantastic and new for this band. And you even yeah. called Easier the beginning of the best era for Five Seconds of Summer, which is, you know, a bold statement. And I know you won't be making that if you can't back it up, especially with the rest of the boys. Now, when did you all realize that Easier was going to be this record that ushered in the best era? Was it at yeah. the actual conception of the song or was yeah. it when you all listened to it for the first time finished? I, I mean, with New Directions, particularly in modern pop and rock, you need... Um, a song to kind of open the doors for the rest of the music. Right. And that's precisely what we did on Youngblood as well. If we released, we thought on the last album, if we released Youngblood first, it wouldn't as it, it wouldn't impact the way we dreamt it would. Right. Um, so Want You Back actually helped us, or um, well, people make sense of Youngblood as a song. So I feel like easier on this this record is is helping people understand where we're going as a group musically and lyrically okay. and visually especially. Um, and it's important for you know the band to realize that and, and, and hone in on the direction and, and gradually guide people to where we want them to be as fans of the group. That's great. Now, you said visually as well, not just musically. The yeah. music video for Easier was definitely a visual treat, and I could tell that you know it was really something that was representative of this change as well. Did you guys have a lot of creative input in this music video, or what went down there? Yeah, we have a lot. I mean, we've in the past, we've kind of directed our music videos as a group, and mm -hmm. we've done lots of things. Particularly, like, that's why we live in Los Angeles, because it's, it's really productive for us to find the right people for the band to work with and right. for us to take the next 10 steps as a group right um so we worked with grant singer and he had worked with you know we're, we're walking around the world and we're referencing all these groups like nine inch nails and stuff like that and you know in order to do that you need to find legitimate influence and we worked with grant singer because he went he made the most recent nine inch nails right 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 uh vm i'll call it mv mm -hmm. um so yeah we we just wanted to make sure it was an authentic direction yeah and make sure that we could be represented as as the modern uh, five seconds of summer that we are, and, and that's great. I'm glad you guys got that for you. Now, uh, Luke, you've said before that that easier is probably the least nervous you've been before re releasing an actual record. Now, uh, is this is this something that uh, that usually happens to you? Do you typically would you typically get nervous before? And what was the difference between those previous singles and easier? Now that uh, you're not as nervous, we sound like a very confident band, don't we? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. I've said it before, but I feel like coming into each album cycle and the first song you put out, you've got to be like, this is exactly what Ashton kind of described. This mm -hmm. is the best way to open the door to the rest of the album and the rest of what we want to show people and what we want to show people visually and musically and um, right. all of that. I think, yeah, we on the third album feel like we uncovered something really cool in mm -hmm. our sound and how we want to be perceived as a band. Really did a lot of groundwork um, so that easier could kind of fly on its own. So that's why I personally, I think we as a band felt very confident in it. Confident in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, we love the song. We love the visual behind it as well. It just feels, it felt 
like right and not I don't know all the pieces seem to line up where maybe in the past we haven't you know nailed every little piece of it and it right, felt like right. we did on this one well it's great that you think so and it's not bad to be confident at all man if you like what you're out yeah. there <laughs> then it's then it's totally it's, cool yeah when we speak like that as well it's like our fourth album and mm-hmm. I think that's part of releasing albums you need to learn like all the things you need to do to release an album yeah um, and I guess the fourth one is I guess us understanding all the parts we've missed out in the past. Definitely. Yeah. Now, folks, for those of you tuned in, I know you listen to Easier a lot on the station and on speakers, but it's, I gotta say, it's a different experience when you listen to it with earphones or headphones on. My goodness, you really hear <laughs> the bass work that Callum did was absolutely fantastic. Ashton's uh, oh, drum God. work as well was really, really great. So, folks, please plug in a pair of earphones and listen to Easier again. It's a whole new experience. Now, you talked about how your different points of view when it comes to music and how, you know, Easier and the upcoming fourth record as well is just a, kind of like a harmonious union of all these differences now have these differences in artistic opinion been there since self-titled back in 2014 or is it something that kind of grew over time i think it comes with unfortunately i don't know if for lack of better words it comes with privilege of like people actually listening for a long time Mm -hmm. um you can't really argue about those things if you've only existed for two years or something i think that comes with age and and wisdom as a group yeah okay There you go. No shame to be changing, folks, despite uh, all the years together. Now, uh, I was listening, of course, doing my research a couple of nights ago, and I came across one version of Easier that you guys uploaded a couple of days ago, the one that's live from the vault. And oh, yeah. I got, dude, I, dude, I love that version so much. I know it's the guy, it's the version you guys play live, and for yeah. the lack of a better term, there's a part in it in the intro where this just basically goes, bam, bam, <laughs> bam. Pardon my articulation. But uh, perfect, who, thank you very good. much, Michael. How was it arranging that? And approaching the arrangement of that was that just another testament to how your differing styles can come out in different interpretations of the same song mm-hmm. i think that actual version itself uh came from another version oh. that was uh produced by one of our our good friends matt pauling who worked on our second album um i think it is also um an attempt to get ahead of the race in terms of we're going on we're going on tour later this year with the chain smokers right um and even collaborating with them although it's not down the exact same route made it easier to kind of bridge mm-hmm. into this more uh electronic influence sound that we're we're uh, kind of attempting to achieve um and and by you know going into that live space and and creating an environment like that, it just eases people into the music that we're going to release later on this year yeah. um, and later on early next year. And mm-hmm. I like it. It's almost like it's a love letter to your old fans who got used to the more, you know, intense. Uh, yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, I think I think often our audience doesn't isn't aware of our other audience, which yeah. which we see as a group. We see a lot of people that really like the easier life from the vault version. And mm-hmm. then we see the majority of general audience like the regular version. Yeah. Um, and we're really aware of both worlds and we like to cater to both in everything that we do. So when you often people pop audience don't like to go and see pop live because right. it didn't impact the way a rock band would. Right, right. So we play pop songs in a rock way. Nice. When you come see us live and I think that's one of the main things that we've done as a group and I think that's why we have live following. Yeah, and I think that's also one of the reasons why, you know, so many of the Five Sauce fam have stuck with you guys for so long because you know how to adapt, number one, and you really look out for the fans that have been there since the start, even some of the newer ones who are used to your new sound. Totally. So uh, now uh, this one is a bit more like off off uh, record, but then, uh, or like not about the record, but I want to know since you guys are coming up on tour very soon to the Chainsmokers, uh, what's one thing you do the most on tour that isn't music related? Like what's the, what's the one hobby that you get into the most if you're on the road and that's and just not playing music or meeting fans or doing, or doing press junkies? I mean... I feel like as you get older, going around to, we're very lucky to go a lot of places in right. the world. Uh, and I feel like one thing is like a great walk around a new city or a city you've been to before. Mm-hmm. I mean, you gotta you gotta have a few years of wisdom to just enjoy a walk. Right, right. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think That's so. a great answer. Yeah. So you guys just go on. <laughs> you guys go on walkabouts, basically. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty much. Walkabout. Yeah. Nice. So taking yeah. taking a nice uh, refreshing walk is a nice way to just clear yeah. your head in the middle of tour. Tours are weird, man. They're more internal than external. What do you mean by that? Like you just change so much because often you're quite silent on tours. Really? Um, yeah. Like backstage I don't, I don't, in the Yeah, room. I don't think it's a lot of like talking like we are right now. Mm-hmm. I think it's more going about your day in preparation mentally and, and right. working out how to deliver to your fans in a live audience. Um, it's not necessarily all this like uh, it's not experiencing things the way people would think 
It's, right. It's more keeping your head head straight and, and delivering a lot of So it's a lot more passive time than it exactly, is active, a lot yeah. of introspective mm-hmm. time. Yeah, in preparation, yeah. That's great. Now, uh, before, of course, we get into our last couple of questions, now, what is one thing that you guys are excited to do in Manila this time around, aside from the show happening yeah. tomorrow? I've been really excited to actually explore this place. I mean, right. we've been here at so many different times, apparently only three, but it feels like <laughs> ten. Um, yeah. And I've never, we kind of just want to make some friends that actually show us around because we nice. <laughs> we've never had a chance oh, to actually see. Yeah, where should we go? I was thinking of going to uh, Manila Bay Walk, right, right, or something. Is that good? Where would you suggest to go? It, it sounds good, but oh, you no. may want to go somewhere else. <laughs> I suggest like Intramuros, like a place called Intramuros. It's a lot of historical buildings. What do you guys like doing when you're out? Like, what kind of places do you guys like seeing? Oh, I mean, like, want to see like some cultural stuff. Yeah, you know what's yeah. like. Also. What? <laughs> All right, <laughs> I feel. I also. definitely am glad I asked then because it's yeah. like a forty-minute drive away. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Something live gigs as well. Yeah, you guys have a great. Live yeah, gig yeah. You guys have great cover bands. Right? Yeah, no, for sure. We, we have a very booming uh, underground band uh, culture here. I'll give you guys a couple places after after nice. the interview. Cool, fantastic. Uh, but then, just the most uh, run-of-the-mill base cultural thing near this place, probably Intramuros. So uh, we'll we'll okay. pass it over to your management so you guys can check it out. But now, before uh, we I let you guys go, uh, there's this thing that people call. Uh, hashtag Team Bahai. Now, Bahai is house in Tagalog, uh, in our language here. And that's basically a code word that people say for people who can't, who weren't able to get tickets to your show happening on Thursday. So I know you are, above all, looking out for all of your fans, not just the ones who can go to the show, but even the ones who can't. Yes. Now, what is one message that you will send to those who yeah. couldn't make it to the show, to those who are hashtag Team I, Bahai? Yeah, I think it's valuable for them almost to not be there because we plan on putting in a massive show on here eventually mm-hmm. that's full production. And and like a hundred minutes long, rather than it being we're actually playing a showcase. Right. So right. we'll be playing the new stuff, and there's enough people in that room for us to successfully perform to you know that amount of people. Any more, I think we would lose the substance of that show. So I'm glad people want to come. Yeah. But we want to put on a full show another time and yeah. deliver something that's uh, that's suitable for that many people. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Now, folks, you heard it. Don't feel so bad about missing the show. They're going to be back definitely with a bigger, bigger show. Now, uh, a message to all of your uh, Five Sauce fam tuned in, whether they've been there since the very start or, you know, have easier as their first love of the band. Yep. Um, up, hello. Michael? Hey, what's, what's up, Michael? up? I'm in this. I'm in this, too. You're in this, too. Um, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Uh, thank you for supporting us always, and thanks for always coming to see us at the shows, and thank you for continually being so loud on social media because, God so loud over yeah. here and and we we always hear it mm-hmm. and uh we want to keep coming back here and playing here forever because honestly the philippines is the probably the best place to play in the entire world confirmed. so wow confirmed heard it here first yeah mm-hmm. a lot of bands say that and I'm, i at first i thought people were just you know sweet talking us but then it's kind of true dude it we're, is true we're insane 100 <laughs> yeah. we're kind of crazy yeah. over here for you guys but awesome. uh thank you guys so much before i let you go i just wanted to ask one question uh to, to both of you are we gonna get any new uh summer brothers material soon <laughs> or is that <laughs> kind of off the table <laughs> question uh, on everybody's lips we yeah. can confirm September 12th, there will be a Summer Brothers album. No! Yeah, yeah, debut. A debut. That's way too no. specific of a date for it to be not real. Yeah, the other guys didn't know. I no, mean, you're talking about were. different styles. I mean, Five Sauce goes country. I don't see why. It's yeah, pop. Think, it's punk we, goes pop all over we, again. We go out on the top, and then we just say... I th- yeah, I think we've we've set up. I piece. wish you guys were serious because it would only take us two days to write a country album. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean we wouldn't have to write any new material. We'd just be recording five yeah, do songs. That GCE minor D stuff, man. We yeah, could totally like do it. it. E minor I got to in my. If I get writing credits though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. We'll, just, talk, we'll, we'll let's talk. Right. Just stuff. some GC money deals stuff. going around. Yeah, if if the lots of money floating around right now. We're man, just, you know we're playing. We're seeing playing the field right now. Yeah, being popular in country music's changed you both. It's yeah. it's, yeah. it's it's rough, man. <laughs> but <laughs> Luke, Michael, <laughs> Caleb, Ashton, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, now, uh, can you please invite all of uh, your listeners and your fans right now tuned in to the show happening on Thursday? Mm. Yes. Uh, if you're listening, we have a show on Thursday. It's at the, uh, where is it at? It's at the New Frontier Theater. There you go. And uh, it's going to be a little intimate show. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, if you aren't there, we'll see you next time we come back. Yeah, I love you guys. There you go. Thank you guys so much for being here, folks. Let's move on to more music. And hey, what do you know? We got the latest single from Five Seconds of Summer playing right now. It's called Easier. This is...